see them as freaking terrible and they, no matter what they do, they can't win any freaking thing no matter how good they do. No matter, it's a good start, it's a bad start, they're, they score power, they don't score power, they go, they just can't win and that's not acceptable. Fire Donald Sagan's immediately, he should have been fired after last season, but somehow they really? gave him another deal for another year and it's not cool. Dallas Higgins makes me so upset that I just want to explain. Ah! I need this team to win. I'm having a heart attack right now. Ah! Ah! <sighs> Did the overly loyal Ducks fan just commit suicide? Hmm. Boy, that's not really good. I mean, he really... That's a, it's a very overly dedicated fan, that's for sure. Yep. But I don't think he needed to do that. So here I am once again. We are going to talk about our game this past Saturday versus the Chicago Blackhawks, and then we will get into our game tonight against the Detroit Red Wings. Let's get into this episode of Quackcast. subscribe to this YouTube channel for all of my latest content. The game. Ducks lose 3-2 to the Chicago Blackhawks. And this one really makes me mad because of a couple things. One, you outshoot your opponent 41 to 22. Relax. You only score twice each within the first half of the first period. And the three goals you give up to, thank goodness none are on the power play. You well, one thing that made me mad, took too many penalties. Two, the referees were absolutely plebeian garbage. And three, garbage. the goals you gave up to were to nobodies. None of the players who scored goals, two of the three were scored by one player, did I have scoring anything. The only, and only the same two players factored in on the first two Chicago goals. Like, I mean... Why are we giving up goals to nobody? It's because we're coached by Dallas Aikens. Are you sure about and that? And he doesn't know how to coach a team. And this team just doesn't give a about discipline and smart play. It looked good early on because Troy Terry scored 19 seconds in off of a great pass from behind the net. Impressive. That was from Trevor Zegers. That made it 1-0 Ducks against the goalie playing his like, seventh career game, Arvid Soderblom. In the... 11 minute mark of the first period, Adam Henrique snaps one past Soderblom to make it 2-0, but then this is where it starts to fall apart. Jared Tenorti, now remember this name, Jared Tenorti on a backhand at the, um, before the penalty started coming in, he would get one past Anthony Stoll, as I'm glad he got another start at least, to make it 2-1, and then in the second period, a guy I've never heard of before, Philip Roos. This is a rookie for the Blackhawks, who I don't know how good he's going to be. Philip Bruce tied the game on a nice pass from, wouldn't you guess, Patrick Kane. Like the only other good remaining player on the Blackhawks besides Jonathan Taves. He makes it 2-2, two two, and then the third goal for the Blackhawks scored late in the period. The third goal scored by the Hawks, unassisted, to the defenseman, the nobody defenseman, Jared Tenorti. Now... Here's the crazy fact, and this makes me so mad. Jared Tenorti has four points this season, two goals, and two assists. Guess who those two goals are against? The Ducks. He has four career goals. Guess who three of those career goals are against? The Ducks. It's pathetic. You're giving up, you're letting a nobody defenseman who's played in 124 career games just own the ah! of you. Unacceptable, Ducks. I mean, you tried at the end, you put up a few shots, but it's just, you guys just weren't meant to win. So again, the final score is Chicago Blackhawks 3 and Anaheim Ducks 2. Injuries are a thing, and I get it. But at some point, you need to have somebody step up. The Ducks will get back Sam Carrick after his hip injury. He'll be on the fourth line tonight with 
Comtois, and Jones. But more bad news, we are losing Nathan Beaulieu to an upper body injury. Ouch. We are also losing Kevin Shattenkirk to a lower body injury. Mm. And he was placed on IR today, which brings the call up of Drew Hellison. <laughs> Drew Hellison, you may remember we got this guy when we traded Josh Manson to Colorado last year. So we will see Hellison come up. And he was a third round pick originally, I believe. Third round pick? I still don't remember, but the point is you're going to see Drew Hellison play in this game or at least be on the bench. Uh, Jorhovac at nine and is still out with an upper body injury. Ouch! And we, and we again won't see Drysdale the rest of the season with a torn labrum. Ouch! All right, players to watch time. So the Red Wings are off to a very hot start to their season with their number one goalie, Vili Husso, coming in at a record of 5-5-2. Five, 5-2-2. Five, and, two, or five, two and, two. and Lucas Raymond, who was the runner-up to his teammate Moritz Sider in the Calder Trophy, each of them have been hot in their last five, with Lucas Raymond having three goals and Moritz Sider having three assists in his last five games. The team leader in goals is Dominic Kubelik. He has seven, but back to Raymond, he's got six goals. I guess everybody in Detroit loves Raymond. Well, maybe Bruh. not everybody, but everybody in Detroit loves how their team is playing. Correct. Anyway, terrible jokes from of references that for everyone loves Raymond. As I said with Moritz Sider, he's a defenseman, so don't expect a lot of scoring from him. Sider, I believe, has, yes, he has five assists this season for five points, so hasn't been on fire yet with his production. So but maybe he'll score against us tonight because, Ducks, keep your eye on Kubelik, Sider, and Raymond. Kubelik, number 81. Raymond, number 23. Sider, number 53. And let's also keep an eye on the captain, I believe he's the captain, Dylan Larkin, who is 26 years old with seven goals and 10 assists for 17 points. Larkin's a plus five in his last five, or no, plus two in his last five. That's a very good hockey player. Keep your eye on him wearing number 71. And let's also keep your eyes glued to um, Philip Horonic. Horonic has nine assists, which is good for third on the team. Horonic is a defenseman, so... Not a lot of goals to be scored, but assists will be common with this guy. One goal, nine assists for ten points. Let's look at the Ducks. Now, obviously, you just saw me rip them to shreds earlier. Yep. But even then, you do. I need to realize they still have good players on this team. Guys that can score, despite the fact we lose everything. Adam Henrique is one of these players. He is a very streaky, if you will, goal scorer. Five goals and a single assist for six points play, played through 14 games. Uh, Henrique, um, I don't know how good he's going to be down the stretch for us, but I'll enjoy this streak while it's here right now. The team leader in assists is Troy Terry. He's got 13, which is almost double what his next closest teammate has. Terry has also been pretty hot over his last five. He's got five assists and seven points in the last five. And let's also look at Trevor Zegers with seven goals, six assists for 13 points so far this season. I think he's played in every game. Let's also keep an eye on about Ryan Strom. He's got four goals so far, and he's been okay so far, redeeming himself from that Vegas game, which I'm still upset about. Four goals and six assists for 10 points through 15 games. That's not bad. John Gibson is going to get the start for us tonight, so he's back in the net. Hopefully he doesn't become total Swiss cheese like he has in a lot of his starts this year. My prediction for this game with how good the Red Wings have been and especially how they beat the crap out of us in Detroit I have the Ducks losing this game by a score of 5-2. to two. That is my prediction, and that is the episode. Comment your prediction score, my friends, in the comment box below. Remember to click like and subscribe to the channel if you have yet to do that, and click the bell to be notified when I post new content to the channel. Have a good night. Stay safe. Let's go, Ducks. Let's hope I don't have to be this angry in an episode again. And let's get a win. Let's go Ducks!